The reason why most think that the law was done away with, it's because they haven't read these verses here. From the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verses 31 to 33. Here it specifically mentions how that the 12 tribes of Yasharel would break the contract, the old contract that was established in the Old Testament, and how the Most High would need to renew that contract by making a new one. But this time, instead of being written in stone, like the tablets that Moses received all the way back in the Old Testament. This time, the new contract would be written in the hearts of his people and the converts of the Gentiles. Okay, so let's take a look at these verses here from Jeremiah chapter 31. Verse 31 says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new contract with the house of Yasharel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the contract that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Kemet, which my contract they broke or transgressed, although I was a husband unto them, saith the Lord. But this shall be the contract that I will make with the house of Yasharel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write the law in their hearts and will be their overseer and they shall be my people. So there it is. They had already broken the contract and they were in captivity for a long time now. And still are to this day, but they're getting ready to serve their sentence. And soon they'll be free and about ruling the nations. So right now, the commandments and the laws are being written in the elect's hearts and in those that are called and overcoming daily. So, yeah, it was not done away with. It was prophesied that a new contract would be instituted. You see, but a lot of times we're not familiar with these verses from these chapters and books, like the good prophet Jeremiah. So, you know, when somebody comes up to you and tells you, hey, the law was done away with, you get confused, you don't know what's going on. But if you read your Bible, you'll see that they broke the old contract. The Most High said, I'm going to make a new one. Instead of writing them in tablets, like the ones I gave Moses, I'm going to write it in your hearts. That way you don't forget them and you keep them. See, let's give that a second witness. Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 10 says almost the same thing we just read in the Old Testament. This is the New Testament here. Hebrews 8.10 says, For this is the contract that I will make with the house of Yashar after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them an overseer and they shall be my people. All right, so there it is. Exact same thing or just about the exact same thing we just read in Jeremiah. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 16 this is a contract that I will make with them after those days. What days? After the events that transpired in Calvary. The, the, when Mashiach died, was buried, and had risen. That's when the new contract kicked in. When he sent the Ruach HaKodesh. It says that the Almighty will put his laws into his people's hearts. And in their minds, he would write them. Second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 3 it says you show that you are a letter from Mashiach you yeah you the viewer if you are one of those called if you are the elect you are a walking letter from Mashiach the result of our ministry 
Paul is saying, written not with ink, but with the Ruach of the living Yah. Not on tablets of stone, like the ones Moses received, but on the tablets of your hearts. Again, over and over again. You know? So no, the law was not done away with. Psalms 37, 31. The law of their creators in their hearts, their feet do not slip. Again, prophecy concerning the new contract. Psalms 48. I desire to do your will, my overseer, your law is within my heart. So there it is. I just wanted to share that because there are people confused concerning the contract. They think that, okay, if it was not done away with, then it's just, do we still got to observe it? Well, it's not, it's like instead of looking at the, constantly always looking at the scriptures all the time and be like, oh, I got to make sure I don't mess up. If if those commandments and laws are being written in your heart from 1 to 10 and then some, then you're all right. If not, then you're on your way to the lake of fire. So, yeah, you know, as you progress in your walk, you'll start to see like, okay, I got to keep this commandment. Okay, now I see. You know, it'll come more naturally now, you know. Back then it was harder to do because they had to constantly observe and make sure they're not going down the wrong track. Otherwise, there will be no need for Mashiach to come because they would have kept it perfectly, right? But they couldn't, so he had to come and this time instead of writing writing it outwardly, like, for example, the Bible, you know, that's in a sense the, the stone tablets but written in wood and paper or whatever. But now he's writing... His commandments in our hearts. And you'll know the people that are His because they'll keep the commandments. They won't argue against them and say, oh, this was done away with. You could do whatever you want. No. Remember, He says, depart from me, you that work lawlessness, not those that keep the law and His commandments. So I just wanted to share that because there are some still confused out there. But don't be, you know. Keep seeking the Most High, and uh, may He grant you mercy. May He write His laws and commandments in your heart, and so be it. All right? Much love, and until next time, shalom.